I lived nearby and I heard in 2006 that the Caerphilly Miners Hospital was going to close and I'd had a lot of treatment here and my neighbours were telling me how much they regretted the fact that they were going to lose the hospital. We said right at the beginning that we wanted to offer to the whole community, so young and old, and whatever their needs or circumstances. So we provide opportunities for learning, for volunteering, for promoting people's well-being and health, and generally um, giving people an opportunity to have fun. In my working life, I had spent a lot of time uh, saving community buildings across South Wales and I thought, well, if I can't do it in my own community, all that effort would have been wasted. So I just went for it. She's a massive inspiration. <laughs> she really is. Even if you're having a bit of a bad week, she, you speak to Catherine and she just uplifts you. She's fantastic. When the pandemic struck, we realised that we were in an existential crisis, really, because we'd encouraged everybody to come to our community, when in fact we needed to reach out to them. It brings people together in the best and the worst times. We have fun times like Christmas, and then, you know, we've bad times with COVID recently. We've moved online with Zoom lessons, um, and it just keeps everybody going. People are on their own far, far more and I don't think that's natural, I don't think it's who we are as human beings and you need places, physical places for people to come together to meet, to share stories, to do stuff together and to get stronger. That's why these places are so important. We now have an outreach project, a digital inclusion project, so we've, we've actually helped hundreds of people I would say over the last year. In this situation here, it was a tough job, it was a tough gig she had. It's been a struggle uh, and a grind for a lot of that time, but she's ground it out and she's come through fighting. Uh, she's, she's remarkable. The first phase of the project, we received £250,000 from the lottery. And for this phase, in terms of capital, we've had just under 100,000. We've also had funding towards the Climate Change Garden, a children's gardening project, and also 50 plus dance and seated dance project. I think we're going onwards and upwards.